Hey guys, welcome back. If you clicked in this thumbnail, then you already know it's clearance time at Walmart. I just got back from the store and picked up a couple of accessories I've been needing, including this new hat. So in the last video, I got the bench tops done. These are all complete. We have our nice storage all set up here in the front as well. And the last step to really complete the bench lids is getting the seats mounted. At first, I was gonna use the uh, Atwood quick disconnect mounts where you put a swivel on the bottom of the seat and then it clips into a base plate. But in looking a little further into it, I just decided to go a different direction. So what I had wanted to do was put in seat post mounts in the back seat and the front seat. That way, if we ever need to remove the seat, they can just pop right up. They already have a swivel built into them. And specifically for the front, I wanted it to just be very very quick to pull up and out if we needed to access the battery of the gas tank. So we're at Walmart and this is what we found. Seat post mounts, seat mounts, as well as a couple other accessories I've been wanting to get for the boat. I went with these swivelly seat mounts. These have a spring attached to them, so they're a little bit more comfortable. They are the lock and pin system where they just slot in and then can pull out and of course swivel. And these also have a three degree tilt that when it's attached to the seat, it's actually tilted back slightly. So you sit more in your seat and you can have a little bit more of a comfortable position, especially if you're gonna be in the seat for a while. Then for the bases, these will fit perfectly within the area we have over here and where I I would like to mount the seat over there. The front seat is pretty simple. This is gonna be going right in the middle of the area here. This one is a little bit more, I don't wanna say complicated, but needs to be more specific. The goal here is to sit as close to center as possible while still comfortably using the tiller handle. So when you're installing a seat mount and it has a tilt to it, you wanna make sure you look for the arrow on the front of it. You want the arrow pointing towards the front of the seat. That way, no matter what position you're in, you'll always have the tilt in the right direction. Now, since these are brand new seats, they come with uh, mounting hardware. I'm gonna go ahead and put some anti-seize on these bolts just in case. Usually I would use Loctite, but I'm out of Loctite right now. I'm just gonna use this dialectic grease. It'll still work as an anti-seize. Now that's nice and secure. All right, so the tools we're gonna need for this is obviously a drill gun for the screws, but we're also gonna need to drill a hole in the plywood and the aluminum. Got my hole saw kit here. Too small. All right, I think that's gonna be good. We want it to fit these ribs, because I want this to sit as flush as possible. All right, we're gonna get one shot at this. Okay, since we only get one shot at this, I'm gonna start with this board. That way, in case I mess this up, this piece of plywood is replaceable. So for this, we're just gonna go right center. In this position, we we'll put the seat right there. So now we need to mark it out. What I'm gonna do is drop a permanent marker down. It should mark the carpet, and we'll have our exact drill spot. Perfect. and a half. All right. We are now through the board. Let's see if it fits. So the main reason we went a little bit bigger was to account for these side ribs. We went a little bit bigger than we needed to. For the other one is go down a size. You can see here where the ribs are just barely touching. This is still gonna work fine for this front one. All right, well, here's a fun issue. The support I added to firm up the center of the seat runs right through here. So I think what I'm gonna do, attach a brace here and then run a brace here and here instead. This will give me something to bolt into. We'll clear that space up too. While I'm working on replacing those braces, I'm just gonna spray the inside of this with some enamel. This is the new piece of aluminum. I'm gonna rivet down this side and I'm gonna clamp that side and I'm gonna drill through here. So I just cut this cross brace here. I'm gonna get this all lined up with the actual seat mount. This here. I'm gonna do it sideways, that way I can bolt into those cross braces. Oh. 
Just got the last piece cut. Okay, these should work. In the future, I may come back and bolt this down with bolts, but for now, these uh, self-tapping screws went right into the, uh, the braces I put down, so this is all super solid. This is gonna go into the pedestal, and there it is. Very nice. Look at that. Right, and then to take it off. Oh, that hurt my face. I'm gonna grease this up so the pin comes in and out a little bit easier. Spins much easier now. <laughs> so it comes out any easier. Oh yeah, much easier. Okay, yep, just need a little bit of grease. We are good to go now, look at that. So basically from the center of the post to the corner of the seat, I need 10 inches of clearance to rotate completely. So at this position, which is about the same height that the seat sits with the spring, I need to have 10 inches of clearance from the center. We have 10 inches of clearance, no problem. Here's 10 inches. I gave myself a little bit of extra room just so for the tilt of the seat, I want this as far forward as possible for weight balance. Center. Okay, we have our mark. So I got the plate out, vacuumed it all up. This now fits perfectly flush. The smaller size was good, so I'm happy about that. It's kind of hard to see, but the actual bench seat has a little bit of a bow to it on this side. Um, I'm not gonna run any supports on this side, but what I am gonna do is use my self tappers and put in four screws right around the hole to hopefully either bring the bench top up or the plywood down. Oh yeah, it pulled them nice and tight together. Plywood is super secure to the bench seat now. This is good to mount onto here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the last seat post on the other bench seat, get this all cleaned up, and let you guys see what it looks like. This turned out absolutely perfect. Look at this. I can totally run this tiller here, nice and comfortable, and spin all around. I'll be able to use my mount, my graph here, no problem. I got plenty of leg room. I am super happy with this seat mount. This is awesome. All right, well, that's all the Walmart clearance items I'm installing today. If you guys found this helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. If you guys wanna see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.